Hello comrades, it's the Finnish Bolshevik. Earlier this year, the leadership of the Finnish Lenin Museum announced that the museum will be closed down, or rather, it will be changed into a museum about Finnish-Russian relations. The Lenin Museum in Finland is the only Lenin Museum in the Western world. Since Lenin statues have been removed all over Finland in the recent years, it is completely obvious that this decision to shut down the museum is motivated by the same ends, and is only a continuation of the same process of intensifying anti-communist propaganda and also Russophobic, warmongering imperialist propaganda. It is practically official government policy in Finland to link communism with Russia, and both are ferociously attacked in the media constantly. This process is of course tied to the imperialist war in Ukraine, the war between imperialist Russia and the imperialist NATO-EU bloc, which is backing Ukraine. The imperialists on all sides reveal their dishonesty and their true class interests by blaming everything on communism. Famously, Putin attacked Lenin and Stalin for recognizing the existence and self-determination of the Ukrainian nation. On the other hand, the Ukrainian fascist regime has been toppling Lenin statues for years, claiming that they represent Russian imperialism. The Finnish government also began removing Lenin statues after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, despite the fact that Lenin was a devoted supporter of Ukrainian self-determination and sovereignty, and that he is being attacked also by the imperialist government of Russia. They all attack Lenin, because Lenin opposed all imperialism. The leadership of the Lenin Museum claims that their decision to shut the museum down was not due to political pressure. This may or may not be technically true, but in essence it's still a falsehood. They claim that they didn't want to be chained to the past, said that the museum has already been changed so much since Soviet times that it no longer makes sense to call it a Lenin museum, etc. etc. In other words, they had already betrayed Lenin and the working class long ago under pressure from capitalism, and they also said that they hope it will be easier to get more funding for the museum if it has nothing to do with Lenin. The museum was opened in 1946 by the local chapter of the Finnish-Soviet Friendship Society. The museum was located, and still is located, nearly till the end of this year, in the Tampere Workers' Hall, where Lenin and Stalin met for the first time, at the Bolshevik Party Conference of 1905. The Bolsheviks held several meetings and conferences in Finland throughout the years, because Finland enjoyed relative autonomy, and the Tsarist police authorities had a harder time trying to follow the Bolsheviks there. The original exhibition of the museum must have been fantastic. It focused mostly on Lenin's life and work. Famous Finnish communist graphic artist Tapio Tapiovara created a memorial plate, which was placed on the outside wall of the museum. It has a relief of Lenin's face and the text, quote, in historic meetings held in this building in 1905 and 1906, V.I. Lenin has expressed his sympathy for our nations striving for independence." Unquote. In the 1980s, the museum leadership decided to shift focus away from Lenin's life and to focus on the Soviet Union as a whole. It was also again completely changed in 2016 to its modern shape. The museum is now no longer controlled by the Finnish-Soviet Friendship Society, but by the Social Democrats. The modern version of the exhibition is of very poor quality. The absolute highlights of the exhibition are the writing desk which Lenin used when he was in emigration in Finland, as well as a motorcycle Lenin used in Soviet Russia, and there are also some other items of interest, such as the red declaration of the Finnish working masses from the 1905 revolution, some Soviet materials from the Winter War, etc. But there are also embarrassing and totally irrelevant items, such as sports-related things from the Brezhnev era, kitchen utensils from the Khrushchev era, and even a miniature of a Soviet labor camp with an anti-communist writing explaining how totalitarian the Stalinist Soviet Union was. The museum also sells outright anti-communist literature, together with some communist literature such as the Communist Manifesto. The museum's ideological line is somewhat contradictory, because although it has consistently gotten worse and more anti-communist throughout the years, Still, among the main selling points of the museum are Lenin's meeting with Stalin in that exact room and his relationship with Stalin. The museum features a video presentation which is written so that Lenin is supposed to be the narrator. It simply describes Lenin's life, his time in Finland together with Stalin, their close relationship, etc. It is quite neutral in tone and doesn't venture into unnecessary attacks against Lenin or Stalin. 
That said, the museum still spreads several anti-communist lies. It cites the so-called Testament of Lenin and claims that Lenin eventually turned against Stalin and favored Trotsky. Claims that Lenin might have died of syphilis and had an affair with Inessa Armand, etc. etc. Which are completely outrageous slanders. For years, right-wingers have demanded that the museum be turned into a museum of Soviet totalitarian crimes. But at the same time, the left has probably imposed an even stronger pressure against the museum to not embrace anti-communism fully. Now, the Social Democrats running the museum claim that they don't want to be enslaved by the past and that they wish to shut down the exhibitions about Lenin, yet they want to be enslaved to capitalism and imperialism. To me at least, a museum of Finno-Russian relations doesn't really sound like it will have a mass appeal and it will probably go entirely bankrupt in the near future, or the capitalists will keep it afloat with their money and use it to facilitate NATO propaganda.